Hi everyone, so I want to show you today how to use PyEnv to uh, install and use Jupyter Notebooks with a quick um, demonstration. So I have a folder here called Test Project. Um, in this folder I have currently nothing, as you can see. Um, I want to check what versions of Python I have, I have available for PyEnv, so let's do PyEnv versions. I have these three versions available. Um, I want to install a new version of Python. So let's actually choose some other Python version. So for example, this one. So this is the versions that are available. I think the one I chose was not available. Um, let's see. 3.8. Well, this is a great video for you for you to watch. Very entertaining. There it is. Okay, so now I should have uh, three versions of Python installed. So let's go and set the new version of Python to our local version. So now you can see if I do ls. I can see nothing. I have to do ls minus a to show um, the hidden files. So you can see in there is a file called um, Python version, which has 3.8 local version of Python that I'm going to use. So if I do pip uh, pip list, it should hopefully not quite as long as installing Python. Okay, so now I'm going to do pip list again, and it shows me a bunch of stuff that was installed, including Jupyter. There it is. Um, so I am going to open Jupyter Notebook by typing Jupyter Notebook. It will now open the notebook in our browser, and it shows all available um, files here. So it's a browsing system. I want to create a new notebook, and I'm just going to click New here on the right side, and then Notebook and it generates a new notebook for us. So I'm gonna choose Python 3 because we wanna work with Python 3, but you could also use another kernel if it was installed, but it isn't. Um, and now we have this Jupyter notebook. We can change the name of it here. So let's call it um, test notebook and we can start working. So I don't think I'll have anything to work with. Uh, and there's my delivery. I'm back. I uh, just had a delivery from Amazon. So, okay, um, I need to install pandas. So I'm gonna do this by opening a new tab here. I'm gonna check that my pyenv is still the same. It is, so I'm gonna do pip install pandas. This should take a minute as well. And uh, now it should hopefully So I realized I wasn't recording. So let's do this again. I don't know where I stopped before. So I had copied a file to my folder called um, this. So this is my Aura data from my Aura ring from a couple of weeks ago. And I wanted to show you how to use pandas to um, open this file and plot it. So these are cells in, in, in Jupyter. And uh, here I imported pandas, and then I created a uh, a variable called data, which um, is a pandas data frame that was constructed using this CSV file um, that I exported from Aura. And I can look at it by just typing data and executing, and these are the columns and these are the rows. And I can now uh, look at a single column by using this dictionary um, uh, syntax. So this is just a series, this is called a series now, and I can plot it by doing dot plot. 